What's good? It's your boy Jerome from JeromeHolderFitness.com. Now in this video, I want to talk about what to do to reverse a fatty liver. All right, let's get into the video. Now, there's a lot of different tests that you can take to see if you have a fatty liver, uh, but one test you can actually take is the eye test. All right, now if you look down and you cannot see your toes, because your stomach is protruding out, chances are you have a fatty liver. And we really want to do something about it. All right? Fatty liver is the reason why somebody that's skinny can have diabetes, right? Because they're skinny, but they have a belly, right? Fatty liver is the reason why you might have low energy. You might be tired, not able to run around with your kids, things of that nature. So we really want to tackle this issue, all right? Now, these are some of the things that we can actually do in order to reverse a fatty liver. One of those things is actually lowering insulin. All right, now every time you eat, you trigger insulin. So the first thing that I'm gonna recommend is intermittent fasting. All right, now if you eat in a smaller window, okay, whether it's 20 hours of fasting, four hours of eating, or 16 hours of fasting, eight hours of eating, or even uh, seven hours of eating, 17 hours of fasting, you're putting your body in a state where it's gonna be more likely to strip away at some of that fat because you're fasted. But most of us, we graze all day. Breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, then a snack, right? Wake up in the middle of the night, go in the fridge, have a snack, right? So it's all this eating, all this insulin being produced, which leads to a spillover in your liver because your liver is literally responsible for detoxifying, it's responsible for purification, of the blood, right? So if you're constantly eating all the time, your body's just gonna be focusing on detoxing versus actually healing versus doing things with the actual nutrients that you're getting, right? So we wanna make sure we fast so that we can help improve this fatty liver problem. Uh, another thing would be a ketogenic diet, higher carbs, oh, sorry, not higher carbs, higher fat, lower carbohydrates, all right? Because now when you eat carbs, you raise insulin 80 to 110%, which is gonna really put you in a storage mode. When you eat fat, you raise insulin only two to 3%. That's why we want fat to be the most of your diet, right? Because now with the lower insulin response, your body's gonna start burning off all the fat and your liver will not be storing anymore so it can start shrinking away at the fat on the liver. All right, choline. Really great vitamin that you can have. You can take, I actually recommend personally taking the vitamin, but you can get choline in many different foods like beef, beef liver, um, eggs, things of that nature. Uh, eggs are the highest, the yolks, mind you, not the egg whites, but eggs are the egg yolk has the highest amount of choline of all of the different um, foods. So I really recommend eggs, but because you can do up to 3,000 milligrams of choline per day. I recommend supplementing and getting a choline supplement because the more of that choline that you have, because choline is a lipotrophic, meaning it's gonna shrink the fat, right? It's gonna help metabolize the fat. So when you increase your choline intake, the more fat we can start stripping off of your liver and the faster we can reverse this problem, all right? Third thing, vegetables, all right? Lots and lots of vegetables. I'm talking broccoli, kale, um, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, flour, those cruciferous greens. They're really great, again, for stripping that fat off because it's gonna lead to an efficient detoxification, right? And it, it's all about the detox, guys. If you're not detoxing, if you're not getting rid of the toxins as fast as the toxins are coming in, it's just gonna lead to a spillover, right? It's gonna lead to a fatty liver. All right, now the last one, and this is something I've actually talked about in a few videos, is milk thistle. All right, milk thistle is one of the best, if not the best herb for detoxification uh, of the liver. I recommend taking it in tincture form. There are pill forms as well, uh, but from what I've seen in certain studies, getting it in the tincture, it's more potent. I've personally experimented with uh, milk thistle. Matter of fact, I remember there was a week I took milk thistle and my, the scale went up by like four pounds, but my waist shrank by like an inch and a half. So that means that I built muscle, burned fat, and that essentially was a byproduct of my liver being a lot healthier, right? We really underestimate the liver. We talk about the heart, we talk about the kidneys, we talk about the brain, all these different organs, uh, but we fairly rarely 
um, speak about the liver and the importance of a healthy functioning liver for our own well-being. All right, now these are, again, some of the stuff we can, you can do. Just to recap, lower insulin by following keto and fasting, choline with the supplement, eggs, beef liver, lots of vegetables, cruciferous, broccoli, cauliflower, and last but not least, milk thistle. Now, if you like this video, please drop a like, leave a comment below, and subscribe so we can spread the message of good health and fitness, all right? Peace.